Hello everyone, I think we are live. Well, um, I gotta be honest with you guys, I almost missed the time. When I get involved like this, I need to set the timer. I'm gonna share with you what I done. Um, so um, as a demonstrator, we get access on most stuff a month before it's available to customer. So by the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchyStamps.com. I am in the U.S. So, okay, we're going to go back at why I almost missed my own uh, event. Um, uh, love it, love it, love it. It's a special place in my art for Magnolia. Well, we've been in Pensacola a couple of years, four years, and then Texas, and it's a place that got a lot of Magnolia. And then uh, back in 20, I don't know, I think, uh, eight, no, maybe, which year we went on the cruise, Ollie? Uh, maybe 2016, 17. Me and the girls went on a cruise, and we came back in Brett. Uh, planted a magnolia tree and we were afraid we would leave before they bloom well no we got two years of amazing amazing bloom so of course now we get a new set of magnolia first i said oh i'm not getting it because i feel we got one not that long ago and then the more i was looking at the online exclusive that's going to be available to customer march 5th or if you want, you can get it now if you join my team. If you join, you get to choose $125 of product of your choice, including the upcoming uh, online exclusive. You can choose that, or you can choose $155 of product of your choice. If you choose the $125, you are going to get the glass mat also. It's a sweet deal, no string attached. Okay, so back to the Magnolia. So then I thought, ah, I don't need it. Well, the more I was looking at it, I'm like, dang, I want it. So let me flip you down and let me share with you some of the product that I got that it's available now for demonstrator, but it's going to be available to customer on March 1st. Or if you join the team, you can get it now. Or if you're a demonstrator, you can order it now. Oops, what the heck did I click on? Okay, here we go. So... This is the Magnolia Mood. I didn't even look at the, the name of it till right now. And so if you're wondering, what's the difference? See, I still have my frame. It's on top of my shelf. And just, I look at the time and I'm like, oh my goodness. So I like this a lot. It's very rustic and I loved it. So I thought, hmm, I got my thank you card for this month really done. And I thought next month, I thought to do the coffee and then I decide note cards. Well, it's going to be a lot of color. I don't think that, Lori, I don't think Magnolia grow here. I would have to really research that. I'm pretty sure they would, um, the deep freeze, I don't, I don't know because, um, hydrangea grow here so i would have to really look at that so i did this uh, i don't know it's two different tone here it's very little the color well the artist that did that did amazing because you just have to add a bit of color where she already did that and boom so see how pretty that is so if you're wondering see I'm going to say like my daughter, I need to see it side by side. So the one we had in the past, it's bigger. This one, it's smaller. I can do a 3D too. I will do a, a miniature frame, I think, and pop this also. So here you can see the difference. So this one here in the frame, it's the one we had in the past. And then um, here is the one now. And then, see, I was testing that, and I was like, well, coloring going to take me a lot of time, longer than a quick stamp and go, go, go. So I said, well, I'm going to do no cards, no layers. So, well, I had to do one little layers because uh, when you color this, what happened, well, that would look very, <clears throat> if it go through this, right? Okay. 
So that's the Magnolia story. And also, yes, 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 ma'am, yes, sir, you do have the dye, okay? So um, you do have the dye that go with that. Now, I did a swap. I'm going to get more from the online exclusive, but I did both of my cards with, because that was the only thing I thought I'm going to order, but then I got decided to get the Magnolia. I did the coffee, and this is the paper, the paper, this I stamp, and we got a folder that go if you it's the mini folder it's in the annual catalog if you get the stripe and a splatter folder see this is going to go amazing with the coffee okay i wanted to do a sample but today i get so much done but i didn't get back to the coffee so this is the paper see i didn't stamp so really the only thing stamp on this one it's my background the splash and then the greeting and then here see i like the the steam going up so i colored the cup also so that's the stamp and yes you do have a die that match with this paper and of course i can cut all mine because i think it go faster than uh, put it on the machine but the one that don't like the scissors like i do you can uh, die cut all that you get the die for this okay so um you get many uh design on top like um in the stamp set you get the cups but here is the percolator and also here the little cup the spoon so you get quite a bit more in the dies than you get in the stamp set and here the paper see the cups that's what i use the coffee beans you get uh, a plaid in the back more beans the swirl here's that whatever the latte i call it little cup yeah voila here we go so that is um hey scott it's not rabbit dumping no it's coffee beans you silly okay and then you get those cute little um embellishment also they're about the thickness of a pearl if you ask me yes you need a new computer scott okay oh and then i had got this one too uh, this one, I'm going to be honest, though, I thought, oh, my gosh, I cannot, because I lo love long strip. I wish it would have just because, if you remember, we had that in the past. It's more skinny than I thought, but you see, it's going to be on the long way on the car. This, you still can use it this way, but you won't have all the swirly, okay? You guys get crack me up. You know what? The, I call you my group on Thursday night. I think you guys are become a big family. I love it. I love it, love it. Okay, so we're going to get jiggy with it because I'm going to do more than one card. It's not what I thought to do, and then I was like, Doy, I didn't use that paper yet. So uh, if you miss, I did this lovely card because the team and I shared the card uh, it was on Facebook, but I downloaded it on YouTube also. And I did this because this paper, the Nature um, Sweetness, you can do the resist, and that's what it was. And this was the Daisy. See, even if you get the paper, you don't have to have the sweet. You can mix them. And I want to showcase the ribbon of the celebration. Well, thank you, Wanda. I'm going to have to, gosh, I don't know about Cheyenne with the high altitude and the wind, but I will try one. And I know Brett will plant one for me. Absolutely, Brett will, because he loves nature and trees and so on. So we spend quite a bit of money on the yard and trees. So thank you. Okay. So we are using, we're not doing a Valentine's card. And with the white here, I got a lot of glare. So let me try to see if I can get a little bit darker and less. Um, 
Okay, don't panic. It's going to go very dark. One minute. Okay, I think that's going to be better. Okay, so I am using, it's the Adore. I think it's Adore. I, I don't know how to say the word, but most Adore. So um, that's the paper I'm using. It's part of celebration. It, I bet when you see that, you're thinking Valentine's. Well, I'm doing a card that could go for Valentine's, but uh, it's going to be a thank you card. I was looking at another paper. You're going to see it in a minute. And I thought, I need a branch. Well, perch in a tree. I, I wanted that. That's go very, very lovely with, um, what's that? Uh, flights, airy fly. Not air on your top of your head. I know I say that funny. Funny, aha. Uh -huh. It go very lovely with flight and airy. Okay, and so this stamp set would go very good with that one. Also go good with this because your kindness um, warm my heart and all that paper get hearts. So I think this greeting, that's what we're going to use tonight. Uh, I'm doing more than one cards, by the way, so you can stop at any time, come later or whatever. It's going to be longer just because I feel like it. Um, this stamp set's going to go very good. Plus, I got another card, like I said, I'm going to do a few, and this is going to go with the other one because I'm going to do one with the flight and airy. So, now this paper here you can um, um resist, ink resist, and I'm going to show you that it's not what I'm using it for tonight, but I'm going to use it. This paper, because in the center it's different. We're going to, uh, whatever, um, fudge it a little bit. I need a piece of 8 by 8 okay? Okay, so 8 by 8 um, So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to remove 2 inch there, 2 inch there. That's for... 4 plus 8, it's 12, I think. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes. So we're going to remove 2 inch at this end. So then it's going to be equal proportion. This. Yes, I find a problem with closed caption. You guys scare me. The one that watched closed caption, you guys really scare me because I watched some of a bits and pieces of video of my closed caption. Oh my Lord, give me a break. Really? I, that, I mean, it can put some stuff that it's not right there. I'm afraid I'm going to get banned from uh, YouTube. Okay, and while this is all the same dose, so we're going to go right at eight. I don't have to go two and two, okay? So really, you need a piece of eight by eight. This here, save it for whatever. You can use it for other card and so on. Okay. Now, what? <coughs> Excuse me. I need a pencil, and it's very important that you use a pencil in case because you don't want to erase your mark so the beauty of this year i can measure and i'm going to go right on the side here or you can measure on your whatever you want to use your grid paper or whatever okay so you're going to make a mark at three inch and I'm going to put it on this side just because that it's a lighter, okay? So I'm going to be able to see it better. So you're going to make a mark at three and five. Turn it around and sing with me because we're going to do that all around. Three and five. Turn it around and three and five. I feel like I'm teaching you to step dancing and I get two left feet. So... That's okay. We're going to dance with this paper tonight. Turn it around and three and five. Turn it around and we're done. Okay, so we did all four sides, okay? Now, 
we're going to take our paper trimmer and you know what i'm going to remove this so i get less um glare for now i got enough glare with that gold there so you're going to take the one at the top it's the one on the left side okay top left bottom right top left bottom right see we're dancing tonight top left bottom right all the way at the bottom there okay so it's the second one first one second one at the bottom and then make sure it's in the groove and make sure it's in the groove and score don't cut score flip it around the first one at the top the second one at the bottom and boom score then i add that done on when we add um, the diagonal plate and i was like uh i think i can figure it out and here we are tonight without the diagonal plate that is one thing that i miss i really do miss my diagonal plate here voila okay now <coughs> whoops you're gonna fold fold and the reason why i want to fold like this first it's because it's going to give me my four point easier now just um usually it's going to cut right off but in case i'm going to remove um, my mark there okay i know i talk about pencil every time i use a pencil that if you have to invest something in your craft room a good tool because a lot of this stuff we can do without okay we don't need all the bells and whistle and trust me i don't have it and we don't need it all but a good pencil with an eraser many gonna say what kind i like a 0 0.05 and i like a white eraser and this one here it's clear point point five mm I, I did i say 0 0.05 it's 0 0.5 mm so a good pencil it's uh it's one thing i think in your craft room that it's good to have now what you're going to do it's cut those v cut and cut and then we're going to come here this will fit in a regular envelope it's going to be um, a little bit smaller but for the length but it fit okay i'm not doing a special envelope i'm going to mail that in a regular envelope okay so we started with eight by eight and we made mark at three and five on all four sides. Okay, this. Now bring back your paper cutter someplace here. And this time we just do it on the right, okay? To the right, to the right. So you're gonna put your, uh, no cutting, okay, it's scoring. You're gonna put it flat at the top at one inch and just the first portion okay score lift up go around again again to the right just on this ear so you're going to do four side all around just to the right side that first portion don't go at the bottom and turn around and again now I don't know which side I want my paper. I think I want this on the inside. Yeah. Okay. So fold them all out. I don't glue that. Okay. I, I didn't glue the one that I did. Like this, 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 and this. And this needs to be clean. Okay, 
Now we're going to fold this this way. You see where I'm going with this, right? Okay, so this year you can um, fold it. Lift it up here, see? Quack, quack. And then push it down. Et voila, you get your pinwheel. Okay, you can leave your pinwheel that way or you can decorate it different way. So that's why we're going to do more than one card because I get different way to do it. So now when we're going to do this. So yes, it would, it looked very Valentine's, but like I said, we get the perfect reading, not for Valentine's. Uh, we need a piece. I didn't cut that for some reason. I need a piece of um, white that measure three and three quarter. That's not big enough. Okay. Three and three quarter by um, three and three quarter. And also, I need red that measure four by four. Four by four. Okay, so that's going to go inside. Let's leave it like that for now. Now, see this pink one there? I want to go that way. This one, we're going to do a belly band. So you're going to go ahead and cut that at, mm, I think one inch it's enough. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go at one and a quarter, I think. And anytime that I do, you know what? I'm going to go a little, I want at least a set of arts in my thing. So I, I I'm going to wiggle it a little bit. So I push it up there and then I'm going to turn it around and then I'm going to go at one and a quarter because one and a quarter is going to be big enough. And voila, now I got all those art in the middle. Now, you know what? We're going to do another, uh, oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. So um, one and a quarter. That one I don't need that much, so my heart there about one inch. Yep, that's pretty good by three and three quarter, and that's gonna go at the bottom here. So we're gonna carry the inside in, okay? <coughs> okay, now I personally don't like to score when it comes to a belly band. And I'm going to tell you the reason why I don't like to score. It's because that if you score, it, if you're off a little bit, then your belly band, it's too tight or it's too loose. So my best advice, it's, it can be maybe too long, 12. No, I think we can get it. So I'm going to bring it here and go there just you know with my hand now i'm going to take this one and go around and you want to press it but you want it to keep loose enough okay so now this is a bit too long so i'm going to go ahead and cut this here voila now <clears throat> Let's open this back up because I just thought when I'm going to put my paper in, it's going to be a little bit more thick. So let's do. This over here. And this paper, if you think it's just Valentine's thing also about, well, we're doing thank you, but I think it would make beautiful anniversary card. Beautiful. I'm going to share it more. It's some flowers in it and so on. Okay, now this is going to be there. See when you open it up? Okay, flop, flop, flop. Then you're going to lift this up. Okay, so to close it, close, 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 all in order like that. 
and then you're going to lift it up and slide it under. Okay, now my belly band, I like to tie it at the front personally, okay? So I'm just going to put glue right there. Oops, 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 don't put on your, uh, that's a no-no, okay? Don't make sure nothing go on this here. Okay, and then put glue on this tab. I could have kept a little bit longer, but it's going to work. This absolutely, it's going to work. So I want to make sure it's straight, you know, on each side. Now I got the two and three eight circle punch. We're going to do that with red. I'm going to put that right there. And then we're going to do a two inch in white. Do I have a scrappy? Yeah. Okay, two inch in white. And we're going to use this set here. Huh, it's not put together. Well, that's okay. That's what you call create on the fly, right? So I'm going to share you a tip that I learned way, way back from Michelle. Uh, usually, you know, you're going to peel your stamp set here and put it down. Here's a better trick. Well, if I would be a clear block, I would be where? Okay. <clears throat> Instead of bringing your rubber to uh, your uh, sticker, you're going to peel it all up, okay? So the sticky part there, going to go on your um, clear block. Now you're going to remove this and remove this. And especially with wards, this is even more better with i mean more better it's amazing with words to stay straight now you get uh the greeting you're going to put the phone facing up now you're going to take this and bring it right here you can line it up perfect see how simple this was okay now we're going to use a um, real red that i don't have here it is like I said, I almost missed my own show. And then we're going to stamp that right here. Voila. And then I think that I'm going to add a little bit of flicker here. You know what? No, it's clean. Leave it that way, Frenchie. I think it looked clean. We're going to leave it that way. Put this right here. And I'm not putting dimensional. I'm going to put it straight down, okay? Uh, I'm getting less and less on top with dimensional and bling just because of the postage. There being a stinker here. And now we're going to put that right here. See, your kindness warm my heart. And then you just pull this up. And then it's all the hearts. Oh, poor, all of you that COVID and are sick, good luck. And voila. So now you get place to write. So again, flop, flop, flop. And then pull up and slide it under. That's one of them. Okay, so this paper can be yours for free with a qualified order. So what do you think? Now we're going to do another one, but we will not do a belly band around. So we're going to go. I, I get a lot here. Okay, now we are using um, the Stargaze. Okay, I already pre, it's eight by eight, you know, three, four, uh, three, five, three, five. Here we go. I want to share with you how quick it can be. And I could have prepared it, but then you would have said, what, what? 
here we go you just um, cut those V cut those V I wanted to do that for next month my customer appreciation is going to be all quill well I'm like this is not a quill I thought a bonus and I'm like no it's going to be perfect with uh, the celebration paper so I had the stargaze there and see this one here I use the hello irresist uh, irresistible bloom okay and it's the same size the berry the berry burst it is um four by four and then oh i have to do the, the other one and the white three and three quarter by three and three quarter now we're going to bring this here and remember we bring it at one not the cut we're going to score at just the top to the right at one to the top to the right at top to the right and the reason why i use this paper because a lot of people's like ah i got that paper i don't know what to do with it here we go now you get something cool okay so um i think i want this on the outside because it's just very cool oops not that one so just score and i don't glue them maybe you want to glue them i don't find the need to glue them okay it's not because I'm lazy. I just think we don't need it. Okay, fold, fold, all in a, a row, fold, and then pull up and there. See, boom. Now we're not doing belly band on this one, so watch what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna put that right here. I wanna point out one thing that I done that I absolutely love on this card. So I colored it with blends, but see the center? I kept it white. So when you stamp it, so I just color everything but the center. I thought that was, it really popped this out, right? See? Okay, so we're going to close again. So close, 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 and shove it there now we will use a, a dimensional on this one though oh, this one maybe you're gonna have to help the recipient on that one okay this one you're gonna take a dimensional and you're gonna put it on the side there it cannot touch any of the opening okay cannot go below that and so on now let's remove that Take, oh, and I did my uh, leaves also. I stamp it in old olive, color it with granny apple green. And glue dots. Time for a drink. Put it in the front. and we're gonna put it you oh uh, in solid color diana you get kind of the one all in the color it's some of it it's very uh not much to it okay so here it is and then just flop it right here voila so no um belly band so see when you open so now when you're going to close it though you have to be a little bit more tricky if voila it was not that bad okay are oh, you ready for a third one why not i'm not going nowhere so we're our keep on going and here i'm gonna this is another one that i had done like I said, I was not planning to do this tonight. I was planning to do something else. Okay, so this one, it's the same thing. And this one I just stamped. That's Blackberry Bliss. Blackberry Bliss on this one. Okay, close, close, close. 
lift up. Oops, something don't jive here. Close, close, close. Okay, one minute, one minute. I'm going to close this one. Here we go. Yeah, voila. You just have to play with it a little bit. Here we go. So that one. So this one I won't give away. Okay, over here. Now, <clears throat> the birds, the birds, the birds, the birds. That's the, the flight and air. Okay, so here it is. And this one I was very... Um, I was like, I don't know how my bird's going to do, but they're doing great. So there come the other, doop, doop, right here. So this stamp set, like I said, go very good with the designer series paper in celebration. It go amazing with the hearts because your kindness warm my heart. And then this branch here, it's the diggity dog bomb. So. Again, this one it's boho, and then we got um, the branch over here. And the beauty about the branch, you can put it in one direction or the other one. Okay, so just depending how you're going to stamp it, you can put it both direction. Now I end cut. Yes, I did end cut a little fat bird here, and because this going to go inside. It's time to have a drink. No glue uh, dimension, but a glue dot. Mm, you know what? I think I like the going this way better. Okay, more glue dots. So go for it. This one I keep his little feet. The other one didn't have feet, but we're going to make him some feet, okay? We will. Because I put the branch this way, so I want the little birds just to sit on the branch here. Here. Tweet, 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 tweet. Et voila. So this one, I won't put no greetings. So whoever going to get it, uh, you can, um, you know, have it for whatever occasion you want. Here we go. Okay, so this is going to be the top of out. Mm. Okay, see, see, I twist it sideways to pull it out. I want to see which way. Okay, this, I'm going to put it this way. So that's the, the trick. If your paper just go one direction you have to be a little bit more careful okay because it go on the four direction here yeah i i can see i think that autocorrect did something wrong there or whatever the caption okay so now we got that close 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 and pull up this one, I don't know. I think I was doing, I don't know what. See, I'm off. So I must have not measure it right. But I'm like, I'm still uh, going to do it. Okay. So see, I get the little branch over here. Now, remember this little bird that we got? We're going to put him some little feet there. going to put him right there. And we're going to use a marker. And it's a stick down, a stick down, and put a V. How simple it is. I had to Google, okay? Yeah, me and Google are very good friends. Yeah, and I really like my Google. And voila, see now he get his little feet. So now we're going to attach this right here. Now again, we're going to put him right there and I did in the, I decide to do the belly band just like whatever today, sometime, whatever, <laughs> when I was getting, I'm like, oh, 
Remember, I want to show you something else with the paper we're using tonight. Oh, see, I had to try my feed there. Is that going to show? No, it won't. Phew. Okay, right there. Voila. Okay, so now I told you about the envelopes. <clears throat> See, it's the right uh, tallness, whatever, but you get a little bit of wiggle there because it's four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So uh, for me, I'm not doing a special uh, envelope. And I'm going to tell you something too about if you do an envelope, so you would do like four and a half by four and a half for the envelope. If you mail anything completely square, it costs you more to mail. It doesn't matter the whatever the weight and that anything super square it's um, gonna cost you more so might as well put it in this and it costs you less and see now we can open it up again if I did it right yeah see that branch I'm telling you if you don't have the perch in the tree I think you want it plus that dye it's wicked cool it's very cool yes i'm saying a dye it's wicked cool okay <clears throat> so um okay down 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 and then lift up here et voila see the more you do it you're gonna figure it out so that's a celebration paper that's a celebration paper and this is a everyday paper, whatever in the annual catalog. Now, let me talk a little bit more about this one here. So, you know, I share this card here, the nature um, sweetness. Um, on um, the 17th, the 17th of February on my blog, you're going to see 24, yes, 24 cards using that paper because that was the paper that I challenged my team. This year, I put that video on YouTube too. This is the French knot. See how fun that is? With that's the celebration um, ribbon. Okay, let me bring back. Where did I shove it? Okay. So now I need my glass bag again, though. <coughs> <coughs> At this time of the year, it seems I get a frog in my throat and it stayed there for months. Okay. No, I don't do a, a blend for every color. I just go in the tone and it's perfect. Uh, DSP, maybe somebody uh, wondering what it's a uh, Mary DSP. DSP is designer series paper. Okay, so this is the Stargate from the annual catalog. This is the Sweet Adore from um, Celebration. I, I don't, is it Sweet Adore? I don't know. I don't know how to say the word, my friend, but I'm going to tell you where it is. The uh, most adore on page nine, yours for free with um, celebration paper. And then we use the flight airy that it's on page six, six, also free with qualify order. Okay, now I'm gonna use that. This is awesome for, see it don't, well, it move a little bit, but stay there. I like to start here and then see okay let's crank it up a notch tonight what is the the lady with red and purple what they're called oh alberta what was she um come on when you hit 50 Is that the red, what it's called? Come on, I need some help. Those ladies, when they hit a certain age and they wear those big hat with purple and some red bow, what it's called? The red hat, yes, yes, yes. Remember Holly, Alberta, that would come with Pat? 
The red F, yes. So we're going in those direction tonight. See, start over here. I don't know why I was thinking of that because I wanted to have some darker and lighter. And then I'm going to go back to the red. So anytime I switch though, I want to wipe that because if not, I'm going to get the ink from one to the other, okay? So very important. You are, okay? Here we go. So see, you could do that for your friends when you guys need for coffee, tea, tequila, whatever that you guys need for. Uh, we have uh, them in my... I had a group, we did um, the technique uh, class and so on. Oh my gosh, they would come all dressed up, the bow feather and everything. Yeah, it was fun. And so uh, I just get smarter here. So watch this, I'm gonna do the purple here. And then if I had to do the purple again, so I would do strip of one color Instead of washing, washing, washy, washy in between each color, then I can come back with color number two. Just a little tip along the way with number two, and then I would fill. This, though, you really want to make sure this is dry. Because... <clears throat> If it's not dry, it smears. So you want to make sure it's dry. Now I would come with my red and fill this up. And the reason it's good to tap on your glass or on scrap paper, then you don't get those big chunks. Okay, so that looked pretty good, right? But wait a minute. Wait for it. See, uh, Colleen, I told you I would use this paper that Colleen just got this paper. And I said, oh, I'm using that tonight. So let me. So this is called resist. OK, now you're going to take a rag or a paper towel or whatever. And. See flip it so then any place that you add the color it removed oh this would make a beautiful beautiful card if you ask me it would make a beautiful um uh ch -ch -ch, that thing billy band see all those art yeah so okay you like that with the hearts right so <clears throat> you could do it with the plaid too and then see the flowers that would be beautiful those color with the flowers would be beautiful and uh, you could do that with the swirl you could do that anything that you get that specialty paper like the foil you can do that i'm looking for here it is th those big flowers don't you think it would look good those colors you can do any colors this so all the paper in this it's specialty paper on one side so this it it's going to cover it all because it's not the foil it won't work so to do the emboss with not emboss but the well it's kind of embossing there the resist you need like um not absorbent paper so like the foil uh the glaze you get that um it's kind of a shimmery that it's perfect so see so this paper if you thought it was just valentine's now i just share many things that it is not valentine's so any question oh wait a minute wait a minute last week Last week we finished and I forgot to share something. I forgot, I love this paper. I'm gonna have to do something. I think next week we're doing something with these paper. I just love it, love it, love it. And I am not a purple or pink person, but dang, I love this. Uh, <clears throat> so um, last week we did, was it this one? No, we, yeah, we did this one. And remember with the fishing line, ta-da, that was a fun one with the foil. 
Okay, the winner of this one is Kathy Bothwell. Kathy, go at FrenchyStamps.com and claim your card. You'd have to be claimed before the next one, okay? Because uh, I, I would have filed all over. So, and see, we have, this is a card that you get the front, the middle, and the back. Because, you know, when we decorate the inside, I say, uh, I know uh, Scott and Ollie, you guys are purple. I would have to do blue and something there. Um, blue and yellow would be pretty. Um, we say the party inside. Well, this one, it's the whole party, the party in the backyard, the party inside, the party in the front. I mean, it's a party all over, okay? So, Kathy, please send me your mailing address and this one will be your way. Now, I forgot to share this one. This was the 10th one, and see, I had done before, and I said this style, you know, the, I don't know, this way work better because when you do it, see it, it get placed, flip, and so on. Well, this one, when you open it up, it just hit the back here. See, it don't have place to flip. It go like, it flip good when you flip it up this way, but when you showcase it, it don't want to flip as much as the other one. So that is the thing about it. Okay, so any question for me? I think that tonight was a winner. What do you think? Don't you think that... Uh, and personally, I think that it, you can do the belly band, but you don't have to. So I'm looking for any question. Remember, you can join my team and you can get the online exclusive now, or you can wait till um, March 5th. It's going to be available to customer. So if you miss the beginning, I, I recommend that soon we're done watch that. I share a new magnolia. I share the coffee stamp and so on. So, so yeah, I think it's a fun fold, right? Because I never done it without the diagonal uh, plate because the diagonal plate we would just score, score, boom, boom. But I'm like, I think I can manage that. And I did. So I love it when I can, you know, repurpose, repurpose. So that is it. Till next time, happy stamping. If you like what you see, give me those thumbs up. And also right below, please subscribe to my channel. So when I go live, you get notified. Uh, it don't hurt nothing. Just make sure you get notification on and boom. So till next time, have a great time.